Hey everyone, it's Mike with It's Pittsfield Tonight. I'm going to jump right into it, and I'm going to make this a short one. Uh, just want to go over a few different things. So, for one, uh, many of you, I'm sure, have seen a lot of the candidate interviews that I've been posting. There's quite a few of them. Uh, Facebook's system, when it comes to political content, is a whole new beast now, uh, this year, with some changes that they've made. So, those interviews are on there. I know a lot of you did not get notifications that those were posted. But if you go to the itspittsfieldtonight.com, click on the tab for Know Your Candidates. It'll say Pittsfield Election 21. Uh, and it's got all of them posted that I've done so far. Um, I'm getting ready to start a second round, which will be the first forum. We'll call it a debate, but uh, more of a question and answer forum with multiple candidates at once. So I've reached out to a few candidates. I've got a couple that have already agreed to sign on for that one. So uh, this week I'll be reaching out to more to, of our incumbents and challengers to see who wants to participate in that. So I'll keep everyone updated on that. Uh, the Mark Wahlberg thing, I know a lot of you probably saw the video I posted of his plane coming in. Um, I'm, I always post stuff from the airport. I always have, as many of you know that have been following this page. And uh, I've posted Mark's plane before. It's an impressive plane. Uh, but some people in the community, I, when I hear, oh, you have to respect the celebrities. They come here for peace and solitude and don't harass them. <laughs> like, give me a break. Okay? Like, I've never been in Hollywood, but I was in the music industry for a long time. And I've been around a lot of people. Uh, for, for one, the Mark Wahlberg situation. He flew into the Pittsfield airport on this massive private plane that has his name on it. So it's kind of hard to be inconspicuous. <laughs> you know, uh, nobody harassed him. He went right from the plane, walked down the steps, did not talk to anybody or engage with anyone. He went right down the steps into the limo that was parked right there at the bottom of the steps. Uh, they pulled up to a fence. There was a, about four people there. Uh, two of them were little kids or one of them maybe two of them but anyway uh the limo pulled up i think they were friends of the limo company or the limo driver maybe something like that and mark himself unrolled the back window and waved to everybody and blew a kiss to the ladies and it made their day the little kid was jumping up and down with joy uh and that was it that was it was completely harmless and look these are celebrities and to say they they come here to escape the give me I, to hear that that's so ridiculous for anyone to even say something like that that's ridiculous you want to be part of our community then yeah come to our community if you're a public figure and some people the first few times they see you go wow that's Mark Wahlberg and wave or want to get a picture that's part of the gig no one's gonna harass anybody here and after you're seen a few times you can become part of our community. We're a great people. We don't bug or harass anybody. But when you're a big A-list celebrity, one of the biggest in the world, that's part of the gig. And believe me, don't think these people don't know that. They know how you feel about them. They know it. Someone like Mark Wahlberg knows it. And they're okay with that. It's their fans that made them the millions and millions of dollars that they have. Uh, when you put yourself out there on any level, Look, I get stopped all the time when I'm in the grocery store or something, and believe me, I'm not comparing myself to Mark Wahlberg. <laughs> but my point is, when you put yourself out there on any level, any level as a public figure, that's part of it. That's what you're asking for. You know, when you get into the business, whether it be the music industry, the film industry, whatever, doing this, uh, you're putting yourself out there and you're asking people to allow you to be part of their lives, part of their home, whatever. That's part of the gig. So don't, for anybody who got excited about that, good for you. And if Mark Wahlberg wants to be a part of our community, uh, and you know he has spent quite a bit of time here the past year, we'd love to have him. What an awesome person to have as part of the community. But nobody should apologize for taking his picture or something. He's a public figure. Nobody invaded his space. It wasn't paparazzi hounding him. Let's, let's not be ridiculous about that. And we all deserve privacy and, we, and respect. We all live here for certain reasons. Don't, just because someone's a celebrity, they come here to be left alone, don't bother the rich people on their private jets. That's ridiculous. Ridiculous logic. 
So anyway, back to serious stuff. Um, the serious stuff is last night we, t we discussed the budget. And I'm going to go over this in depth in another video, but the city budget, it looked like everything passed, everything went through. Uh, no matter where you stand, he here's, here's the deal. <laughs> We're up to $180 million a year. Uh, I think we've had the largest increase in the city's history under this administration. And, you know, it's a, it's a saying that I've heard since I got involved in politics uh, heavily in Pittsfield about five years ago, that six years ago. Um, I forget what politician said. It was a mayor of a surrounding community, surrounding city, said that Pittsfield doesn't have a money problem. Pittsfield has a spending problem. And I agree with that. Uh, the biggest part that bothered me about, and again, I want to talk about all this in depth later, but the biggest part that bothered me about the, the, these budget hearings was, again, the punishing the police and putting the blame in the wrong spots. And this is how I look at this. We ask so much of, of police now, so much. We ask them to be the tough enforcer the mental health counselor, the EMT that's going to give you Narcan and, and, and bring you back, uh, the, the marriage counselor, uh, you know, the drug counselor. The, we ask these officers to be all these things combined into one, and we're putting so much on them when the blame, where's the blame really? The blame is in our mental health system and our public education because and I'm not blaming teachers, believe me. I'm blaming the system. The system should be set up where potential problems, whether they be problems in the home, kids that are not being treated right, that are leading, will lead to other behavior later in their life, all that should be, uh, there should be a system in place to identify those high risks. But no, we just keep kicking this ball down the road and then blaming the police at the end of it when they have to clean up the mess that was made by the rest of society and we throw it all on them. And, and these budget hearings were more about taking money away from the police department. They were more focused on that than like the last shooting we just had or the, the amount of violence in the city which is horrible and everyone knows it. But we keep blaming the police. And I'm a huge supporter of police, and a lot of people know that. But look, I'm not naive. I came up the hard way, and I, I can promise you my interactions personally with police weren't good. Uh, I've had the shit kicked out of me a few times by cops in my life. So I'm not naive to how law enforcement works, and you do sometimes get people in there that they just shouldn't be there. But that goes with every profession every profession. Are there improvements that need to be made? Of course. It's an evolving system. As society changes and evolves, so law enforcement has to also. But we're, we're just not paying attention to the real issues here, I guess. I don't know how else to say it. We're, we're neglecting the fact that if there was the right systems in place from a mental health perspective in our school systems to be able to identify high risk or kids that have serious potential uh, but are having problems at home or whether it be substance or other things that are going to block those potentials that they can intervene and correct those problems before they head down a path where now we're putting it on the police. It's ridiculous. None of the, 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 the blame, I guess is what you would call it, was placed where it should be. We need improvements in our mental health system. In our, in our school systems. We keep dumping tons of money into the public school systems and kids are choicing out at a crazy rate. Teachers are taking jobs anywhere they can to get out of there and that's happening a lot. I've talked to a lot of people. There's massive problems. The choice in superintendent, that hurt us. You want to talk about punishing the police, that hurt us. From a law enforcement perspective and, and, and my reasoning for saying that is that alone, the gesture of making real change and showing that we're ready to make real change in this city could have had a massive impact on children uh, that could have led them in a different direction. But, you know, it is what it is. 
but to sit there and listen to the council, some of the council members really go after our law enforcement for the city more than they do other uh, hugely important issues is just, I don't get it. I don't get it. We're just going to, we ask so much. I've never seen so much put on one profession before where you've got to go to work and be all those things and then, God forbid, something happens and you get stressed out. What about the mental health of our officers with what they're dealing with? I mean, they see death and pain and suffering and all sorts of bad things constantly. That's got to weigh on you. Uh, I don't know. I just, I get upset about that. And then the other side of it that I've always made a point about is, you know, look at the education level in our police department and look at the education level in our city government. And there's no comparison. Our police department, from an education perspective, these officers have master's degrees, and I mean, it's unbelievable how, it, and they, they continue their education. Uh, it's unbelievable how smart some of these officers are compared to our politicians from an education perspective. So, you know, I don't know. We, 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 we put so much on them. That, that really upset me. Really upset me to see that the budget hearings really boil down to that more than anything. That seemed to be the, the, the biggest issue out of the whole thing. When there's so many other things going on. Like, how is this $40 million going to be used? You know, why isn't it used to offset some of these projects? We have additional federal infrastructure money coming. But this $40 million, the first payment of like 16 to $17 million, I believe should have come in or is getting ready to. Uh, where is that being spent? How are we going to spend that money? And why couldn't it, we talked about the McKay Street parking garage uh, so much last night. Why can't some of that money be used for that? Where is the public discussion on that? That's just hush hush now. 40 mil. So I hope all that's coming out soon. And I know there's certain guidelines to that funding, but they're, it's a pretty wide umbrella. So, all right, well, that's it for now. Uh, if you see Mark Wahlberg, make sure you take his picture and say hi. <laughs> and uh, nobody minded that I took the picture of the guy on the lawnmower at the airport working all day either. No one stuck up for him and told me to respect his privacy. Poor guy. All right, so that is truly it for now. Uh, everyone, have a great day. And uh, check out those candidate videos. More stuff coming. Uh, and I got a cool video I'm posting for cruise night also. And a, a bunch of stuff. So I'm getting ready to kick it in another couple more gears with some other stuff. So that is truly it for now, and I'll catch you all in the next day or two.